Uh, yes, I just wanted to actually the statement was really for our Iowa fans, our uh, the community, the Iowa, the Iowa community, just to let y'all know that that our team, we are together as one. We are together as one, and we expect our fans to be there with us every step of the way. We want y'all to support any decision that this team has made. We, on the post, I we haven't decided on kneeling or not. That's not what I said. That we have decided, but if we do decide any step, any movement that we do decide to support, any any step that we do decide to make as a team, we want y'all support backing us every step of the way. Not only on the football field, but also when we're off, when we're off the field, when we're in class, when we're walking the streets, when we're driving our cars. We want y'all support day in and day out. And that's really what that what that post meant. How did you feel about the reaction you got? To um, honestly, I expected I expected to get a little bit of backlash, but the support from the Iowa fans was truly amazing. I had more positive comments than I had negative, and that really tr that really showed that the amount of support that this team has from the Iowa fans, from the Iowa community. Do you feel a sense of responsibility because a lot of people did uh, you know retweet you and discuss it, and they don't really know who you are? Do you feel a you know, you're somewhat of a leader now for this team. No, I don't see myself as that. That post was really pretty much just how I felt personally. Then all my te teammates definitely stood behind that. But as a voice of the team, as a voice for the team, I really don't see myself as that. How important is it for you to be able to be on Twitter now and express yourself that way? Um, it feels pretty good just having that another outlet that I can express myself and be able to share how I feel on another social media uh, site. That definitely feels pretty good. Kayvon, what, what were the emotions like at that meeting on Monday? 